Hey everybody, so I'm out here uh, feeding the flat earth chickens, all this free food I got for them. I wanted to just show you guys the packaging. I've talked about this in one of my last videos, how it's just insane, the packaging that that they put all this stuff in. It just, I, I guess people must buy this stuff or they wouldn't make it, but look at this one here. We got the... Uh, the fresh express express kit okay now it's all right it's you gotta I'm gonna try to hold the camera and open this thing but uh all right so they got some salad stuff in the in the bag but you know then we gotta we gotta have another bag that has two little bags in it with a tiny little bit of cheese and a tiny little bit of dressing. And uh, I opened, yeah, and, and like four little pieces of, of walnuts. I mean, this, I don't know, does this bother you guys? It's just, it's just re so ridiculous. I guess, you know, I guess the idea is, well, you know, you... You got your really nice salad because you got really probably horrible cheese and horrible walnuts. I mean, I don't know. It's just the chickens like it. It's a pain in the neck for me to open all these little packages. And we got dressing. Sometimes I give the chickens a little dressing on their salad. But usually I just throw it away. And like I've said before, it's, you know, it's nice to get the free food. It takes a lot. It's not really free when you add the time up that my friend puts into getting all this stuff. She gets it for the homeless people, and then there's so much of it, they, they can't even keep up with it. But then I got to open a lot. A lot of this stuff is bulk, and it's fine. Like when I get stuff like cantaloupes and watermelons, it's it's awesome stuff. I just kind of cut them open, and they'll, they'll pick those things. I put these watermelons out yesterday. You see what they do to those. And they'll even, they'll keep picking at that watermelon until you can almost see through it. They're going to get all that white stuff out. They got grapes this morning. They got, they're getting so much food right now. They can't, they can't even, well, they do keep up with it, but it takes them, takes them all day to pack at this stuff. And they got corn and salad. But, you know, look at all the packaging. And some of I mean, this I'll show you more stuff. I showed you the potatoes last time. But we live in this in this society where people, I guess, you know, if you live in a city or something, but supermarkets are just I don't know, they drive me they drive me nuts. Everything everything about the packaging and the waste uh and the processed food. I mean, this stuff isn't really that processed. It's packaged heavily. You know, and you know, some of it's organic, some of it's not. Um, you know, and I worry sometimes that, you know, I'm feeding them all this lettuce and stuff that's it's all supposedly washed, but, you know, it probably has pesticides left on it. But, you know, so does the so does the chicken food. You know, the chicken food, you know, it's, it's, you can buy really expensive organic GMO-free chicken food, but then you can't afford to keep the chickens. You certainly can't make money on the eggs. And the food I, the, the grain that I do buy is nice and it's GMO free, but it's not, it's not organic. If you buy organic and GMO free, it costs you like $25 a bag. Um, I probably should start buying that because I'm, I'm getting so much free food. But on the other hand, you know, the free food isn't all organic. And when I get the restaurant slops, that's a lot of good stuff because that's a farm to table restaurant. But I don't know. I just figured I'd turn the camera on, talk to you guys for a minute. I'll show you the chickens doing well. Most of them are inside laying. It's major le egg laying time. And uh, not a chemtrailer to be seen today. They'll be out later. But I'm telling you what, when those, when we have a day like this, when there's no chemtrails, man, that sun is just scorching, baking hot. And we had a heat wave. We just, yesterday was the first day after the heat wave broke. We were up in the mid-90s for 
and high 90s for almost a week which we haven't seen in many years up here in Vermont and that was hazy chemtrail chemtrail hazy days we were in the mid high 90s um, I'm sure the chemtrailers will be out later or uh, if I don't actually see them laying them out I'll see the chemtrails will be coming in sometimes when they come in from the south sometimes they come in from the west depending where they're laying them out depending which way the weather patterns going we don't get really any normal fronts coming from west to east like we used to now they're all kind of broken up strange fronts all controlled manipulated weather um, don't see many bees songbirds or population seems like it's way down yeah they're around finally but not a whole lot of them like there used to be seems like even just 10 years ago when i first moved to this property here this time of year just you would hear so many meadow larks and thrushes and just you know tons and tons of birds out in the in the, in the weeds and the fields nesting and eating and just doing their thing and now they're very sporadic and sparse. Anyway, there's a few birds left. And the trees are still kind of alive, but everything is just going downhill. Everybody's got respiratory problems and sluggish. I've been awful sluggish these lately. Um, you know, that you can't just can't just breed this stuff day in and day out and not expect not not uh think that it's not going to have an effect on everything but it's a very strange world we live in uh we know jesus will be back soon but you know soon is a relative term it's hard to say you know didn't i think things have to get really really bad for they're not quite as bad as as the uh, Bible talks about yet, I don't believe. But, you know, animals are dying, birds are dying, fish are dying. The Bible talks about that. Um, you know, we're definitely in the end times. As I think a lot of you guys who watch this channel will agree. But it's just, uh, it's just a crazy world when you look at the packaging and the waste of the food in this society, how people are just completely manipulated by the media, by sports and news and weather, all fake. Uh, and the people just no idea that, that every thought they think, every belief that they have is all put in their brains by the, by the evil controllers. You try to, I don't even, I, I rarely try to even mention stuff to people anymore. Chemtrails I point out all the time to people, but they're not interested. But you can't, you can't just, you can't just start telling somebody who's sound asleep that they're under mind control. <laughs> it just doesn't, that doesn't work very well. But they are, you know, they all, around here everybody still believes in all the politics and all the news and all the fake space crap and fake news and politics and you know it's just sad and whatever whatever news they want to put out to manipulate the masses yeah you can just see them all just fall right into line you know see the division start whatever side that they're on whether it's the left or right they go right for right for the paradigm you know, if they're on the right, they act a certain way. If they're on the left, they act the other way. And it's just for people like us that are awake. It's just so transparent and so sad. But to those people who are asleep, you know, we're, we're just crazy. You know, nothing. Anyway, I don't know. Just kind of a ramble here. Started out with the, with the little packages of one little bite of cheese, one little piece of walnuts. You think about all the effort. That goes into that so that some stupid lazy American can just 
open a package and think that you know now he's got a salad he can sprinkle a little cheese on he can sprinkle a little out and you know look, there's no prices on any of this stuff i get it's all barcode scanned so i don't even know how much people are paying for this crap but uh you know obviously it's worth it enough that they can make so much of this stuff that they can afford to just throw tons and tons of it away every single day and keep on making more and uh, somehow, somewhere, there's people getting rich off it. And uh, a lot of slaves go from go to producing this stuff, who think they're free. But uh, just the, you think of the slave labor, quote unquote, that goes into producing all this, from the fields that grow the lettuce to the to making the plastic, to the packaging, to the shipping, refrigeration everything just in every step of the way somebody's somebody's that's what they're doing for a living and the, and the government quote unquote is getting their cut and people just slaving away into this into the system and uh, americans will be like yeah and i'm just me a couple years ago oh we're so lucky to be in america look at all the abundance we have and Look at our supermarkets and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. All right, I love you guys very much. I want to, I'm curious to see if, talking about this stuff, if I lose subs the second this video uploads. I did talk about chemtrails a little bit. Um, the past few vids, I specifically didn't talk about any truth or stuff because I wanted to see and sure enough I didn't lose any subs in fact that one little vid I did where I was up in the water swimming with Zora uh, I gained a couple subs there for a day or two and then then one when one went away but actually I had a net gain of one sub after my last video and I specifically didn't talk about anything truth you know it was just fluffy dog in the water video so we'll see um, I saw a, a channel who the guy's a shill, you know, he's one of those big time channels, I'm not even going to mention his name, that throws out a little bit of truth, but still keeps the left-right paradigm going, you know, he, he throws out a little bit of truth, and, but then, you know, still talks about politics like it's real. But he said that, uh, that when YouTube, and you know, and, the, and the, a lot of these shills, these big channel shills, you know, claim persecution from YouTube and stuff, but um, it's, if, if they were, they wouldn't have a million subs, you know. But uh, this guy was saying that YouTube algorithms, when, you're, when your video is uploading, it's actually making a transcript of your video as it's uploading. So by the time it actually gets up posted on YouTube, you know, they, their algorithms have already kicked in. So that's why for me... I couldn't believe when on those videos, the second, you know, when I, when I, when I hit the upload button and the thing started uploading, I would have a certain amount of subs. And then as soon as it's posted, nobody's even had time to watch it yet. To, if it was a real subscriber who just decided after watching that video, he didn't like me anymore. And I'm suddenly, they didn't even have time to watch a second of the video. You know, it hadn't been up yet. And already I'm down one, two, three subs. So we'll see. Right now, as of, as of this video, I have 179. And I'll see the second it goes up, what what's the deal is. I didn't get into a too much truth here, just a little bit of rant about the supermarkets and some chemtrail stuff. But uh, we'll see. All right, so I'm going to cut this short. I already rambled too long. Zora's doing well. i got more food to deal with here. See, look at all this stuff. Little containers of... You know, summer citrus slaws rotten, and what do we got here? Buffalo chicken pasta salad, potatoes, you know, just a few bucks worth of food maybe at the most. If you look at the raw ingredients, there's maybe a $2 worth of food in here, and a big pile of plastic I got to deal with, but... You know, and then we got, we got this here, and this is nice. This could very well be from some local farm. But, you know, 
It is what it is, I guess, everybody. Keep looking up. Jesus will be back. Our salvation draweth nigh. All right. Love you guys very much. And uh, I'll see you around.